Hi, so this week exploring the Randstad uh, report, um, employer brand, and it looks at what brand employers should be projecting to attract and retain talent. And yesterday we talked about the things that employees are, or potential employees and existing employees are looking for and how misaligned what employers are providing are. And the report goes on to talk about the top five reasons um, employees choose an employer and choose to leave an employer. Now, yesterday we talked about the, what employees are looking for, salary and benefits, work-life balance, job security, a pleasant work atmosphere and equity. The reasons they're leaving is to improve their work-life balance. And that has to send out a key message to employers who are mandating return to the office. Employees want a work-life balance that they can create, not one that is dictated. Uh, too low comp compensation due to the rising cost of living. They believe they lack career opportunities, limited career paths. I received an offer I could not refuse. And then the commuting time is too long. And again, that could be um, a result of the pandemic where people believe remote work would stay and move to more rural or er er areas outside of what the commute they had before. So whereas they might have had a 40 minute commute, they've now got a three hour commute because they're living in a bigger house and they've got a bit of land and it's, you know, nicer environment for children, whatever it might be. And now they've been told to get back into the office and they're going, well, no, I can't do that commute. I'm going to leave and go elsewhere. So also, and they've done this by country, and I'm going to use Australia as an example. They list the most attractive employers in the countries they've surveyed surveyed. So in Australia, the top five, Deloitte, IAG Australia, New South Wales Department of Community and Justice, Virgin Australia and G8 Education. Now, there are a wide mix of industries across various sectors. And Randstad has concluded what sets these five apart. And I said, you can look online and find the top 20 is that they've tailored their value proposition to what employee preferences are. And they've leveraged, looked at employee preferences, and they've leveraged their unique uh, capabilities or unique strengths, such as financial strength, work-life balance, job security. There's no one size fits all, but you should look at your own organization what are its strengths and how can you leverage those strengths to attract and retain the talent that you need?